Chief, just another one. You guys right there at the end, just another one kind of slips away. Frustrating for the team to lose both of these games on the home trip? Or? Oh, yeah, it's very frustrating. Uh, our home opener, we lost, and uh, tonight we came back out and lost. But we, uh, we came out, we got a, had a lot of effort in the beginning, uh, fought hard, uh, kept ourselves in it at halftime. But then the uh, second half, we came out a little sluggish a little bit, and uh, that's been the story of our season, the second half. Uh, Coming down, not going out, not going out as, as hard as we did in the first half. But uh, it was tough for us as a, as a team. But we're we're staying together. Coach V won't let us break apart, frizzle apart. So we're gonna stay together and come back out next home game or next game in Nevada and get a win. It seems like you guys were having some success uh, driving in and, and, and getting the fouls. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's what uh, Coach is always trying to tell us. They're playing the zone, so uh, Coach is trying to tell us to penetrate. You know, we have great great guards that can penetrate, shoot, so we can we can create for anybody on the court. So that's what we were trying to do getting him in foul trouble early. Chris, can you talk about uh, Derek Young? Uh, I think one point he scored 17 out of their 19 points at a crucial time. Yeah, JY, uh, Jamar Young is a great player. Uh, give him the credit. He was out there moving around nonstop. Uh, he, he, yeah, he's great off screens, man. Coming off those screens, he's good. It's hard to stay with him. And, uh, yeah, he's got in the role. <laughs> were you guys surprised by that at all, or were you expecting him to kind of come off those screens? Um, he was kind of quiet the whole night, but then he just got start going. But uh, kind of surprised. Didn't think he was going to go seven. I mean, make it, make those many shots in a row. Defensively, where do you guys stand right now? Is it something that, that as a team you guys are, are hoping to work on, or just kind of stumble through and get past it and move on? What's the mindset defensively? It's just something we need to work on every day. Um, we have a pretty good focus on it right now, but there's a lot of times where we don't sustain our intensity on defense. We don't execute on defense as well as we would like to. Um, we had a couple breakdowns at the end there that was that was pretty crucial for us. You know, guys getting some wide open looks, um, but it's just something that we got to get better at every day. Um, we just got to come back to work. You know, coach was saying that these these last two games don't define our season. You know, we got a lot of games left to play, so. We just got to come into practice and just be ready to, to buckle down and, and get it done. Are you guys surprised at all? I mean, you, you guys have such a, a potentially high-scoring team. I mean, most of us have seen you guys play a lot, and you guys do a lot of good things. And yet, you're not picking up wins, I, I think, like fans expect you to, and probably like you guys expected you to. Are surprised by that? Do you know how to fix that? <laughs> um, I wouldn't really say we're surprised. We're more disappointed than anything. You know, we came into the season with a lot of expectations. I know our fans had a lot of expectations for us. Um, and these last two showings weren't really our team, you know. We had bits and pieces of our team of how we like to play, but we couldn't sustain it, like I said. Um, and that's just something that we got to fix as a team. We just got to get hungry again, you know. We, we were talking in the locker room, it just kind of seems like we lost our fire. That's something that we got to get back. That's something that defined us at the, early be at the beginning of the season, you know. We were a team that didn't care who you were. We were coming out and going at you for 40 minutes, and that's something that we got to get back to. Stefan, Stefan, you kind of had a slow start to the night, um, and you caught, you know, kind of caught on the second half. What what, what changed? Uh, you know, the first half it was it was probably one of my worst halves I've ever played in basketball. Um, as far as taking care of the ball, I was I was very disappointed in myself. I let my teammates down. You know, I told these guys at halftime that, that I'm not turning the ball over no more. You know, that, that was on me. Um, the first half was really on me because, you know, I had five or nine turnovers. So coming into the second half, I wanted to focus on, you know, getting my team involved. Um, I got some good looks. They found me. I was able to knock them down. Um, but like I said, that first half was just, it just wasn't my type of basketball. It was just, I think I was, I was rushing a little bit too much. And I just had to settle down in that second half. Did the defense, the trapping, and picking up all over the court, did that throw you guys timing off at all? It didn't seem like you were quite as fluent as you have been. No, I don't think it threw us off. We were prepared. Coach had us prepared for everything they threw at us. Uh, the trap was basically we kind of played into our hands because we kind of want to play up and down. So uh, we were prepared for it. We just, we just, we just got to execute down the stretch and make the, make the little plays. Chief, it looked like it was kind of your sort of ball game. I mean, you were flying around and, and hitting some layups and drawing some fouls. And, and other than the loss, that seems like the kind of game that, that you and Vigil love to play. Were you oh, yeah. Really our, guard, our guards love to play up and down. And, uh, tonight was just a night where I, I, I just know I had to pick up the intensity. You know, I had to pick up some of my teammates because some were tired and down. So I just tried to come out with a lot of fire and try to boost our team to get a, get a win. 
tough game uh, coming up against uh, Nevada, but uh, you guys beat them at their house last year. Is that give you guys a little more confidence going to that one? We just lost two games, man. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to come out with some fire for sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm going to tell you now, Coach V ain't going to let us go out like three games in a row. So, And we're going to Nevada, so we're going to be ready. It's a road game. I think we're going to be on our toes right there. For Kashif, what do you think the deal is on turnovers? Lots of turnovers this year. I think it's still kind of surprising. What, what do you think that is? Um, just a little patience, uh, understanding what's going on in the offense. Uh, just got to take our time and understand what DB wants and what's the de- what the defense is doing. Uh, we're not doing anything that out, of, out of the ordinary that we're not used to doing. It's just, uh, just taking our time and patience and executing the plays.